Well, I woke up this morning from a reoccurring dream. Hello, people. This is the final part of our reaction for Jai Bim, part three. If you haven't watched the other two yet, you should probably watch that before watching this. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe and bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up so that YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. If you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykaway. You will need your own Amazon Prime Video subscription in order to open up the movie in an adjacent window to our reaction. And um, there you go. So... Here we go. <laughs> Can they still spin this and say, like, the cops didn't murder them and say that they ran away? Oh, you think the cops murdered them and then just... Oh, straight up the cops... The yeah, uh, that's, that's straight up what I'm thinking happened, but I'm wondering about what can be argued because I've been thinking that the cops killed them. Yeah. But, like, is it possible to argue that they ran away and then, like, something happened? Right, yeah. I mean, they'd have to maybe run forensics and, like... Because if he couldn't use his legs, then how could he run away, you know? Sure, that's true. Man. That's all she has left of him. Yeah. I think you're right. What about the other two, though? Oh, God, that's disgusting. Yeah. Are they going to just point blank shoot them? Cops planning evidence is like both nauseating and infuriating. It's just like. You're supposed to uphold the law. Yeah. They don't lock up that approve on the other. Yes, be pressure learning at each other. I'm with a pitch on it. It's always cops taking care of cops, right? I got part of the muscle could be irritable. Tell him where I'm going. You're going to pay your market to the police car. A pavy police fear of some of you, Miss Harry Cabrera. I'm going to moon a pair of top chip on it. போனதாரு <laughs> ரொம்ப <laughs> 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 
What is this? They're protesting. Okay, so just gathering people. To, okay, yeah. gotcha. Sorry, sir. compromise Department Department Wow. It's not his fingerprints. What, 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 what? Hello? 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 Oh, they shoved the two of them in there. Gotcha. Phone la paste na the grit up and down. On a rice mill owner, call puny pace of each other, police. At Raja, say Guru Udumal Pet Police Station, a moon of a short puny carla. Yes. And the phone booth learned the Udumal Pet Police Station, get at the time of the kilometer distance lurker. And the station or a guru in a la contact lurker. So on a jail at the end of Mudipuna the lacquer. Namathari to the Adanda, the upper. Oh, so they didn't kill them then, maybe? Raja can hear the Nerama Karta Solomudigla. Other custom. எதிர்காலத்துக்கு <laughs> 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 Wow, that's like strength. Yeah. Where is he? Oh no. In my capacity, I cannot conclude that Raja Kanna death is a murder. Mosakuti irita pa yunga rindu pera nalik kortu varla na. Hearing a thali vichu na. Oh gosh. It's getting trickier and trickier. Kailaru full security oda camp house lirukkaan sir. IG aangadha arukkaar. Sengeni mutto aandha liar vittu lirukkaar asol rang sir. Whoa. I ain't gonna drive without a window. I know. Right? No good. Yes, yes sir. Thirita vottukku sir. Yungla chitra vada patra yar sir. ராஜகண்ணும் <laughs> Oh god. Nenju mere wal chaga cha. Mama yen me ke mai mund si cha. Mama ga tab ji patar. Ye kala pota ad chaga cha. Alle tabra ya da aur aur le jail la pota ga cha. Bora le. <laughs> Chili powder. Oh, you'll definitely wake up, get some of that in your eyes. <sighs> it's a clear cut case of murder and lock up by the police. Raja can a ninja limbu. Accidental water clan, yeah. ராஜாக்கண்ணு முகத்துல தாடி மீசையிலையெல்லாம் ஏதோ பவுடர் இருந்துச்சு மிளகாப்பொடி கண்ணுக்குள்ளார மிளகாப்பொடியோட எப்படி ஒருத்தரால இவ்வளவு தூரம் வந்திருக்க முடியும் ராஜாக்கண்ணு மரணத்துல சந்தேகம் இருந்தா அது ஹைகோர்ட் விசாரிக்க வேண்டியது இல்ல கிரிமினல் கோர்ட் ட்ரையலுக்கு மாத்துங்க எங்க ஏரியா இல்லன்னு பொறுப்பு தட்டிக்கை கைது ஒன்னு போலீஸ் ஸ்டேஷன் பார்டர் இல்ல இது ஹைகோர்ட் டோன்ட் யூ ஃபர்க
குற்றவாளிங்க யாருன்னு உங்களுக்கு தெரியாது இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் ஆபீசர் ஐஜி பெருமாள் சாமி ரெண்டு பிங்கர் பிரிண்ட்ஸ் கிடைச்சது ஒண்ணு பாம்பு பிடிக்க போன ராஜா கண்ணது இன்னொன்னு உண்மையா திருண ரவியோட தட்டி பாட்டி தட்டின்னு சொன்னாங்க சார் நான் ரொம்ப கம்மியா தான் சார் வாங்கினேன் தொட்டு மேலே ஆசைப்பட்டு பண்ணிட்டேன் சார் அலங்கச்சிக்காரன் விடியா நான் டெக்கர் காட்டினா திருண நகரில் கொஞ்சம் கொடுத்துருங்க திருணம் யாருன்னு தெரிஞ்சும் குற்றவாளி கிட்ட பணம் வாங்கிட்டு அப்பாவி இருளர்களை மெலுகடை வாங்கிட்டாங்க ராஜா கண்ணி டெட் பாடி பக்கத்தில் ஒரு வேனோட டயர் மார்க் பிளஸ் ரெண்டு பேர்த்தோட ஷூ மார்க் இருந்துச்சு அது அத்தியூர் போலீஸ் பயன்படுத்தின வேனோட டயர் மார்க் How they get all of that? SI Guru, Constable Kriba Wadad. Raja Kandu was murdered in lock-up by the police. Sattam yallar ko samam. So I request a free and fair trial in a criminal court. One of the people who are in the world is not the same. The address is the same. Mr. Chandru, is this a high court or a history class? I don't understand. Varla Arthur, I'm going to go to the Tamil Nadu. 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 நீதி மன்ற தர போறது தீர்ப்பு இல்ல நம்பிக்கை இன்னும் கொஞ்ச நேரத்துல இந்த கேஸ்ல தீர்ப்பு அந்த கேஸ்ல சட்டப்படியும் மனசாட்சி படியும் நடந்துகிட்ட எந்த ஒரு முகாந்திரமும் இல்லாம ராஜா கண்ணும் அவர் குடும்பத்தாரும் சட்ட விரோதமா கைது செய்யப்பட்டு சித்திரவதை செய்யப்பட்டிருக்காங்க ராஜா கண்ணின் மரணம் கொலை வழக்காக மாற்றப்படுது எஸ் ஐ குருமூர்த்தி ஹெட் கான்ஸ்டபிள் வீராசாமி கான்ஸ்டபிள் கிருபாகர் ஆகியோரை உடனடியாக அவர்கள் கைது செய்யப்பட வேண்டும் நஷ்ட ஈடாக செங்கேனிக்கு மூணு லட்சமும் மொசக்குட்டி இருட்டப்பன் பச்சையம்மாளுக்கு தலா ரெண்டு லட்சமும் அரசு தர வேண்டும் மேலும் செங்கேனி பெயர்ல ஊரோட மைய பகுதியில செய்து கொடுக்க இந்த நீதிமன்றம் ஆணையிடுது கீழமை நீதிமன்றங்கள் பொய் வழக்குகளில் அப்பாவிகளை சிறையில் அடிக்க துணை போக கூடாது கொண்டு வரப்பட வேண்டும் Does she get her brick house? Yeah. Wow. Man. Wow. Wow. <sighs> okay. Wow. Um. <sighs> All right. Oh, that was heavy. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was quite a heavy film. It was quite powerful. It was a story that needed to be told. They spent a a good deal in the first 30 minutes. I looked at the time of the movie when we finally got introduced to our lead character, right? Yeah. And it was about 28 minutes into the movie before we actually saw him. It's a significant yeah. portion of the film and that was reserved for getting us on board with this guy who's going to get tortured is like and with the community with the commu- as well and right. like and like getting to know them and and caring about them and and their plight right but i think more importantly it n- gave us a chance to just see them as people what's his name rajakani Ra- rajakanu rajakanu him his wife his kid just to see them as people because they were sort of shown in the same way that we often see couples of perhaps a higher caste in other movies so it was shown as shown as a very normal romance like these are people too you know they're human beings yeah and the the plight that they're thrown into when they're good people and they didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I mean they they set it up as, you know, they they were very proud and right. and they were righteous, you know, right. like he didn't take the earring. He could have taken that earring. He was a noble person. Yeah, he was yeah. a noble person. He had a code and he lived by it and they were generous and yeah. kind. He had honor and he was just helpful. And then he was accused of this thing. It begs the greater question at the end of the day which could go into a whole other conversation 
discussion I, I don't necessarily want to get into. But this stuff comes from sort of the top down. You have corruption and you have demands and you have no oversight in, in, in these issues and matters. And so cops are just doing things without any reservation, without any consideration to the effect it has on that individual. Even if they survive, there's like, that's damage you're doing yeah. to their body, you're doing to their mental health. And doing to their reputation. And doing to their reputation. Like a, like a lot of the, you're the doing people to the, said. You're doing to them financially. Yeah. It's like, and they don't even have that much to begin with. And they, especially this, this group of people who are constantly accused of crimes they didn't commit. It's horrifying. And, you know, the same effect that you had with Sadar Udham, where during that awful sequence. Yeah. I sort of had that same effect here where it's like I sort of just shut down because it was so horrifying. It was a lot. It was almost like watching Passion of the Christ or something. It was so difficult to deal with that I just sort of shut down. Yeah. Emotionally and mentally. It was like a lot. I was like literally going through this 12 stations of the cross. <laughs> this like Jesus Christ they tortured him and tortured him and tortured him over jewelry that and he, he didn't still, steal and he still denied it he still said no yeah. you know what I mean like it, it takes a certain level of belief or guts or yeah. just honor to just be able to take all that torture and not submit because most of the time I think studies have shown that torture it doesn't really get you the real cul culprit a lot right. of the times because a lot of the times people just want it to stop. Right. And so they'll tell you anything just to make it end. He could have made it stop if he if he just said, yes, you know, I did it. And then he would have gone to jail for, you know, like three years or whatever. And then he would have been able to come out and see his family. But he had so much honor. No, even he, if he confessed, he probably would have gone to jail and it would have been just as bad. Well, that's what I, no, I mean, but he would have gone to jail, right? They probably wouldn't have tortured him as much in jail sure but it would have been bad and then he he would have that stigma for mm -hmm. the rest of his life and it would affect his family as well even though you know at the end of the movie he did fulfill his promise he gave her a brick house I thought it was really cool for Surya to lend his talents to this film because like there's a huge portion of this movie I'd say like an hour that he's not even in the movie yeah I mean I thought that too because he not only did he star in this he also produced this mm. so this is clearly a passion project for him and yeah. I think that is such an awesome thing to do to lend his star power to lend his acting prowess his voice his reputation to his reputation yeah. to this movie to shine a light on the plight of the community affected yeah. and like you said from the very beginning it kind of set them up to be the heroes of the story you know like right. they're the stars you know Surya is just there to support and help this story get out there although his performance was incredible yeah it was strong yeah no he's a really really good actor I've always thought that about him ever yeah. since I first saw him. He's the first South actor I, I really watched, I think, properly. And I've always been impressed by him. I, I honestly don't even know what to say. I, I'm just sort of shocked at what the hell happened here. And, and yeah. I'm shocked that, because it's like, it's a movie. You know, it's it's all wrapped up in a neat little bow. And, you, you know, you go on with your day. But like those people who went through this actually had to live through it. And they still have to live with it. Yeah. And I'm sure that the woman who went through that, Zengeni. Yeah. I'm sure she still lives with it all the time. Like she was in that prison as well. The great thing is at the end, they're like, they're saying that this is still going on right now. This is still happening. And, and the important thing, I guess, is if, is to not forget, like the moment the movie's over, just like, well, that's done. It's like, no, these people are still, this is still an ongoing situation. And, and it, I guess it, it makes you check your prejudices as well. It's sure. Like, you know, well, what do I do when I come across someone who's tribal? Like, right. What prejudices do I have against these people? And how can I change? It's just so horrifying to me that people can actually behave that way. And so ruthless. And well, so... Because, because they're not seen as being worthy of anything. They're basically like orphans, like they said, you know, they, they can't even own land. They Vote. They can't vote. Yeah. It they're they're like invisible almost, right. and they're not seen as people. So it's easy to torture them and try and foist cases on them because they're not people. It's fascinating too because they showed at the very beginning basically that they're not treated as people, but you need them. Exactly. For... Their skills are yeah. very specialized and yeah. in demand. It's like yeah, you do need them. You need these people. Right. Oh, I'm exhausted emotionally from this. Like that, that was yeah. a lot. It was a good movie. I, really I, th good. I think that it did a really good job of telling the story. Of making you care about the characters. Yeah. And like just kind of, it was interesting to see how they bring you along the process of like prosecuting a case, you yeah. know? So it's like every step of the way you're going, oh, okay, they have a new witness. Now yeah. we have to find new evidence. And, and the way they did all of that work to uncover the truth was very, very exciting and fascinating. It was a great drama. Uh, you know what this needed was more dance breaks. <laughs>
They worked the they worked those music breaks in there, and they worked. I'm obviously joking because this is such a serious film. I didn't need the music breaks. I understand why it's in there. I mean, it, it helped. You know, to Get move things along the in the story. Emotion, yeah. It's fine. I mean, the music, the songs were very nice. They were lovely, yeah. I feel so bad for these people. And it's like, I knew what was going on very early yeah, on. Yeah, you, you sussed it out right away. You were like, yep, they killed him. And then now it's just a matter of time before we find the body, right? It just makes me so fucking angry that, you know, people enlist themselves into these positions of, of power and they just abuse that power it's horrifying to me it's really scary because like this happens here in the states as well where, where cops plant evidence and it's like whoa like you're a cop you're expected to uphold the law you're a cop and this happens as well with you know the the black community like black lives matter is a whole thing about police brutality yeah. well i mean and, especially there but it's not limited yeah. to that it, against any person suffering from police brutality police uh, you know power abuse of some kind yeah planted evidence what baffles my mind is the lawyer on the opposite side who's like i get that it's your job but at a certain point where's your conscience like you know what happened here is it's you, like you know what's wrong yeah i thought i thought that he was like maybe connected with the police somehow you know like how a lot of the times cases here that kind of go to i don't know what the i don't know what the department is called when right. they investigate cops internally and a lot of the time it never really internal comes, affairs internal affairs yeah. yeah it never really comes to a conviction because there's this thing the conviction where rate of cops is very very low it's, it's very low it's less than three percent exactly yeah. And it's because, I mean, I guess a lot of the time they're just looking out for themselves, right? And they, there are rules in place that allow them to use certain degrees of force. But I don't think that it should be okay to interrogate and beat up a, a witness in that way or to, to beat up someone who you think is... I mean, is. over here, it's very easy to argue probable cause and then also a reasonable suspicion of some kind. Even it's like, it's very vague, these rules. Yeah, exactly. It, that, it's, yeah. it's all done in such a way in order to prevent the police and I understand that there's a certain degree of I guess freedom that they need to have in order to do their jobs but a lot of the time people can abuse it yeah. and you know people who are just power hungry and, and mad for that stuff I want to come back to an important thought though which is like we've identified the bad guys in this movie right yeah. it's the it's the abusive police but like the that system. The, the, but yes that's the thing is it's it's a symptom of a greater problem that problem needs to be addressed I mean obviously like you and I can't do it but it's like um, it's an important conversation to be had because I always go back to this we always we, we you know when irrespective of your views on Trump right like Trump if people go, oh, Trump is causing racism. Trump is causing hate in this country. It's like, no. It was there. It was there. He is a symptom of something that was already there. You don't just pin it on him. He just showed up. He's new. You, he, this didn't just arrive. Yeah. He didn't just suddenly like up and, and conjure a bunch of people who were full of rage. It's like, no, this has been around. It's been an ongoing system. While it feels good to know that the wrongdoers in this particular instance are put behind bars. Yeah. It's still like, I still feel so unsettled with just the situation. And it's a global thing because it's not limited to India. It happens over here too. It's just yeah. like the situation. Now I got to sit with that. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with those thoughts. I'm just like, Ugh. it's heavy. But nonetheless, it was a good movie. I thought the acting was great across the board. The, the writing was good. The editing was good. The music was good. All of it was very, very nice. I don't know who they got to play the tribal characters, but like I completely bought them. Yeah, them too. Yeah. Yeah. Like they just felt. Well, it's very well possible they got. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know if they, they, they cast yeah. real people or yeah. if they were professional actors, but yeah. they, they all did a, a fantastic job. Yeah. But across the board, a very, very solid movie. So yeah. you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully that reaction wasn't boring. I was just like, Ugh. but uh, please subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Hit that bell icon, all notifications and vote this up. If you're watching this on Patreon, thanks so much for supporting us here. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.